Personally, my 2022 was like eight out of 10, solid year. Uh, seven out of 10, because I got my driver's license. Mine was like, yeah, like an eight and a half out of 10. It was a good year, good year to uh, have fun, good year for sports, you know? Couldn't have asked for a better year. Give it a seven. I mean, I had some ups and downs, but football season saved it all. Three and a half stars out of five. We had in the heights. We had in the heights. I'd probably give it a seven because I had some really good moments, like 11 out of 10s. But also, like, it wasn't perfect, so gotta take some points down for that. I give that joint like a one, bro. Told my other ACL was not it, you hear me? An eight out of 10, because I got to meet a bunch of cool people. Solid seven. There were like moments where I kind of wanted to like, not be in 2022, kind of be in 2023 already. I rate it horrible. Horrible, 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 okay, horrible. Yeah. My resolution is to be more active outside, you know, go on more runs. Uh, my main resolution for 2023 is to respect myself, I love myself more, and know that uh, everything that happens is for a reason and out of luck. It would probably be to uh, focus on things one at a time, because I feel like I get a bunch of ideas and I kind of like, like mess with myself and uh, yeah, get overwhelmed. Better grades. I failed math last year, but summer school came in clutch, you know, got that B, shout out me, you know. <laughs> to be kinder to my friends. To get super buff and be a muscle mommy. Probably to be better about going to student aid and actually get myself in that class. To focus on myself and get money. That we watch BNC every day.